We start here first tonight with the search for missing 11 year old Madalena Kojakari. It has now been 45 days since she was last seen in public, but police have only been investigating for three weeks of that disappearance. It's because of how long it took her mother to report her missing and that time lapse leading Madalena's mother and stepfather to now face a felony charge for failure to report a missing child. Tonight they are both still in custody. And our WCNC Charlotte's Coalitioner is at Mecklenburg County Courthouse following all of the developments here. A lot of folks, Chloe, have been asking us about Kaylee's Law and how that applies to the situation. What have you learned? Hey, Vanessa. Yeah, Kaylee's Law. Uh, prosecutors tell me that Diana Kojikari and Christopher Pometer are both being charged under Kaylee's Law. It's been on the books for about 10 years here in North Carolina, and it puts the burden on a parent to report when their child has been missing for at least 24 hours. And uh, those parents being charged under that, of course, that did not happen in this case. The timeline of events is crucial as investigators continue to look for Madalena Kojikari. November 21st is the last time she was seen publicly on video getting off the school bus at her stop. Her mother, Diana Kojikari, told police the last time she saw Madalena was on November 23rd, but she didn't report her missing for three more weeks. With any investigation, I mean, let's face it, 10 minutes is too long but three weeks is a very long time. That three week time period in direct violation of North Carolina law. Kaylee's law has been on the books since 2013 and makes failing to report a missing child within 24 hours a felony. It's inspired by Kaylee Anthony, a Florida two year old who was not reported missing for 31 days. Her mother, Casey Anthony, was later acquitted of Kaylee's murder. That one uh, caught uh, the, the attention of the world, really. And it certainly caught the attention of uh, people in my district. I, I received a lot of calls from people uh, outraged and, and asking, you know, what would be this, the case if that happened in North Carolina? Representative Kelly Hastings introduced the law after learning there was a loophole and no required time frame for a parent to report a child missing. The law at play in this case. Madalena's mother and stepfather were indicted on felony charges on Tuesday. To have a law... Uh, that can play a prominent role in a situation like this, that's the pinnacle for a legislator. I'm, I'm glad it's, it's able to help in some small way. And since they were indicted by a grand jury, their case will move from district court to superior court, but those new court dates have not been set yet. Live in Uptown, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Mm, Chloe, thank you.